Hey guys, welcome to our species spotlight on the pink tail Chalcius, Chalcius macrolepidotus. We're going to handle the species spotlight like we do our others, uh, basically touch on the origins, then get into behavior, compatibility, color, size, and so forth, touch on the uh, water chemistry, feeding the fish, and then a quick summary at the end. So now the origins of this fish are basically from northern South America, countries like Peru, Guyana, Colombia. They like to inhabit uh, rivers and streams. Uh, they prefer the upper strata of these, uh, of these streams and rivers because of their requirement for oxygen. So it's important they also readily feed at the water surface as well. Now, a little bit about the behavior size and so forth. Uh, you know, this, this is a relatively peaceful species of fish. Although it does get quite large, it's an active swimmer, you gotta bear that in mind. So the tank mates that you choose for it are very important. Smaller fish are a definite no-no, they will be eaten as this fish grows, it gets to be pretty voracious in appetite. Uh, ideal community tank members are fish like Leporina species, uh, various species of Geophagus, uh, Santa Coperca. Uh, those are good. Uh, those are good, uh, sp you know, species to mix with uh, with a pink tail Chalcius. They get up to 10 or 12 inches in length in the wild. Typical aquarium max size is around 8 to 10 inches. Um, you know, wh now when you buy them typically at a store, you're going to buy them at a size of about three to five inches in general. And at that size, you can keep a group of six or so in a four foot tank. A typical uh, 50 to 75 gallon will suffice, will suffice. But bear in mind that they get big pretty fast. And once they hit six to eight inches, if you're going to have a group of six, which is really recommended, it's either one or it's six. In between, they're going to spend their time fin nipping themselves and so forth. So let's say you have a group of six, you really got to look at a 130 gallon, a typical six foot uh, tank that's uh, 18 inches wide by 24 inches high uh, at minimum for a group of six. And even that would get a bit tight for a group of six, uh, you know, in the future, especially if you have a few tank mates. So you got to bear that in mind. Now, what, these fish are not exactly calm. Uh, they need a kind of a quiet location where you're going to keep them. If you put them in an area where there's going to be a lot of foot traffic or pets going by, uh, it's not good. They can, they can dash about the tank, they can try and jump, and they're very adept jumpers by the way. You've got to make sure your tank is well covered. Uh, you want a quiet location for, aquarium, uh, for your aquarium placement. Uh, this will, will aid in them uh, be a lot more relaxed and, and uh, being a member of the tank that you want to have. Um, the lighting for them is really mid to lower light levels, so things like uh, plants like Anubius, Java Fern, Bulbetus are good choices. <clears throat> Amazon sword plants are also a good choice. If you're going to have lower to mid-level lighting, then uh, a couple of large Amazons. Typical tank setup would be larger pieces of driftwood, larger smooth pebbles spread about a sand bottom. That would be really the ideal way, you know, with a small group of geophagus. Uh, that would be a really nice kind of tank setup and community for these fish. Uh, they have been spawned in captivity, but it's, it's rare and it's a difficult achievement. So for those of you that like to take that challenge on, this would be a great species to tackle, but bear in mind, you're gonna need big, a big aquarium. Um, difference between male and females is not very evident uh, until they get much larger, at which point it's really how well rounded out the fish uh, becomes that uh, would indicate that possibly you're looking at a, at a female. Now let's get into the water conditions. Uh, temperature uh, really is about 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 28 degrees C. That would be the average temperature range. In an aquarium around 77, 78 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. Water hardness, uh, soft to moderately hard, meaning a DKH value is somewhere between two and 10 DKH. And when it comes to pH, they can tolerate 6 to 7.5, although 6.5 to 7 would really be preferred within your aquarium. Remember that they need well oxygenated water. This is an important requirement for these fish. So if you're relying on a canister filter pr to provide really good strong circulation or any filter for that matter, matter to do that, then you gotta make sure to rinse out at least the mechanical uh, filter media on a regular basis to make sure that you, you maintain a strong filter flow. That would be a very important thing to do. Um, and then of course, uh, you know, water quality is very important. Make sure you do good sized regular water changes at least twice a month. Also an important requirement for these fish.
Now let's talk uh, briefly about feeding the pinktail trousius. Uh, they're not a fussy feeder. I mean, larger pellets that slowly sink are really ideal for them. Larger flakes, for example, they will feed on that too, of course. And best, of course, is things like uh, defrosted frozen prawn, shrimp, mussels, other frozen foods that, would, that you would typically feed. Uh, th those are readily accepted by these fish. Give them a good varied diet. Uh, they do attain a fairly good size. And with that stunning coloration of a nice silver body with that deep pink to red caudal fin, you want to maintain them in, in good uh, shape, obviously, to really best, uh, best appreciate the fabulous colors these fish develop. Um, so in summary, uh, you know, this is uh, the pink tail chalcius requires really a large tank. This is really the type of fish that does best at minimum in a really good sized tank. Even a six by two by two would be, you know, typical 180 a gallon, gallon aquarium would be really ideal for that. Uh, they are a visually stunning fish. Uh, when you see a group of six to eight of these with that platinum silver scaling and that deep red to deep pink caudal fin, it's very impressive very streamlined, streamlined torpedo shaped fish. Um, it's, it's really beautiful and really enjoyable in the right type of setup. Uh, it's, it's a fish that really requires quite a bit of food input as they get larger. They, they do need to be maintained with larger tank mates, so bear that in mind. You're gonna be maintaining a bigger tank with a large strong filtration system to take care of their needs. And of course, don't forget one of the most important points, and that is of course a out of the way location where these fish can remain calm and make sure you have this thing well covered. So that's it guys, uh, you know, make sure to like, subscribe and leave us a comment below. Great to uh, have you with us this year. That's it for me for 2021. Look forward to seeing you back in 2022. All the best for the upcoming holidays and happy new year to everybody.